I found a tool of some sort here. Do you know what this is? You've got the bladed change tool in your hand. That's a mighty important little gadget, my friend. It's used for taking off the top cover of the planer and for loosening the screws that hold the planer blades in place when it's time to rotate or change them out. Keep that thing handy. Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll introduce the all new Convey Unity plugin powered by Convey's latest live character API. Built on the WebRTC protocol, it enables low latency, real-time interactions and introduces powerful new features, including real-time vision input, multimodal knowledge, and long-term memory. Together, these allow your AI characters to see, understand, remember, and engage in rich, context-aware conversations like never before. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to install the latest Convey Unity plugin, add conversational interactive characters, integrate them seamlessly into your project, and build and deploy your experience to MetaQuest. Let's dive in. You can download the plugin from the Convey website using the link provided in the description below. Click the download button, choose where you'd like to save it on your computer, and press save. Once the download finishes, open that location, right-click the file, and extract it. When that's done, you can close the folder and open your Unity project. Select the Unity Editor version you want to use, choose Universal 3D, and give your project a name. Click Create Project and wait for Unity to finish loading. When the project opens, remove the default sample assets by clicking Remove README and confirming. Now we're ready to import the Convey package. Go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Navigate to the folder where you extracted the file, select the Convey package, and click Install. Unity will display an import window. Click Import to bring the assets into your project. If Unity prompts you to fix settings or apply recommended changes, click Fix All. Also be sure to click the Android MetaQuest section and click Fix All again. Once everything is applied, close the window. Next, add your Convey API key. From the top menu, go to Convey Account. You can copy your API key from your dashboard on the Convey website. Paste it into the field and click Save API Key. Let's open the demo scene. Go to Assets, Convey, Demo, Scenes, and open the Convey sample scene. Now it's time to add your Convey character. Select a character from your dashboard on the Convey website and copy the character ID. Back in Unity, select Convey NPC in the hierarchy. Give the character a name, I'll use Steve here, and paste the character ID into the appropriate field. Unity may prompt you to import TextMesh Pro resources, if this is your first time using them. For this, go to Window, TextMesh Pro, Import TMP Essentials, and click Import. To prepare the build, go to File, Build Profiles. Remove the sample scene and click Add open scenes so your demo scene is included. Under the Platform section, select MetaQuest. Then click Switch Platform. After the switch completes, open Meta XR Tools, Project Setup Tool, and click Fix All. If it prompts again, just confirm and let it apply the recommended settings. Once that's done, return to Build Profiles. Make sure the MetaQuest platform is selected and scroll down to Run Device to select your headset. Click Build, create a new folder, name your build, and click Save. Unity will now build and deploy your project to the device. And that's it. You've successfully imported the Convey package and set up your project for MetaQuest. Now let's check out an example application running on a MetaQuest 3. Hey Steve, how's it going? It's going well. I see you're in a workshop looking at what appears to be a DeWalt DW735 planer. That's a fantastic machine. What can I help you with today? Okay, uh, can you see what I'm holding here? Yep, you're holding a piece of wood. Looks like a nice piece of lumber ready for planing. What kind of project are you working on? Not sure yet, but I wanna practice. So um, is this the right way to feed it in? You're holding the board flat on the table, which is exactly right. Always make sure your stock is flat against the bed for a consistent cut and to prevent any kickback. That's it for this tutorial. In upcoming tutorial videos, we'll showcase the following abilities in the new Unity plugin. Feel free to comment below with your thoughts on the roadmap of the Unity tutorial series.
If you face any integration issues, please post your query at forum.convey.com. See you in the next one.